Good evening. I thought today I would have a chance to talk to you a little bit about what happens at a home inspection and a buyer review portion. However, the home inspection that I was planning on going to was canceled because all the utilities were not on in the home. So that's one thing to confirm when you purchase a home is that all the utilities are on. Honestly, I had tried to confirm that with the listing agent. They assured me everything was turned on. However, it wasn't. So let's go back and we'll talk about something else. Um, as you are starting your home search, you have a few decisions to make. One is you need to find a lender. You need to get pre-qualified. You need to find out what you can afford to buy. Now remember, when you get pre-qualified to buy a home, the lender might tell you that you can afford a home up to here, but your comfort level might be down here, and that's okay. You only need to spend what you're comfortable with to purchase a home. And a good realtor is going to listen to you and not try to push you into a higher price range. But please, before you start actually looking for a house, please talk to a lender. Have them run a credit report. Have them give you an idea of what your payments are. Have them include things like principal, interest, which you're going to be paying off that's part of your mortgage. Please have them include your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance. And generally, this is pretty standard. P-I-T-I -I stands for principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So that's one of the things that a lender will tell you. Once you get that piece out of the way, then you need to find a realtor. So let's talk about how you go about finding a realtor. You may talk to your friends. You might get pre, you might get recommendations. You might go online and look at reviews. You might start going to open houses and meet some realtors there. Things have changed since August 17. So let me talk to you a little bit about that. And what that means is that since August 17th, before a realtor can show you a home, the realtor has to have something signed by you saying that you will be responsible for either paying that realtor um, when you purchase the home or you're going to pay the realtor for that time. So before you start actually looking for a home, I think one of the first things you should do is maybe interview some realtors, maybe talk to some people, talk to your family. And what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through what you could expect when you meet with a realtor. And I'm going to talk to you about my plan just because it's what I have in front of me. So um, if you and I are to meet to purchase a home, we will first start with a counseling session. And there's about 12 things that we will do at that counseling session. And then after our initial meeting, that's when I will start looking for homes for you. And there's a whole series of things that goes into that. Then when you do find a home to purchase, one of the things that the realtor you hire to represent you will do is they'll write and negotiate your offer. So there are several steps that go into that. After your offer is accepted, there's a number of things that go into that. And then I'm happy to share my plan with you at any time. If, you, if you've got questions, there's about 58 things that are on that list that I can tell you that I do on a daily basis for the buyers that I am working with. But just be, be aware that buying a home and looking for a home, these are important things. These are things that you should hire a professional. And when I say hire a professional, what's happened in today's market is that you are going to be responsible for the buyer's agent's fee. But also understand that um, you can negotiate that with the seller whose home you're purchasing. In the old days prior to August 17th of 2024, buyer's agents were paid by the listing agent's office. The seller paid the listing agent's office and that compensation was then shared with the buyer's agent's office. After August 17th, that sharing has gone away. But I think in all reality, um, we are going to, as buyer's agents, um, the buyers are still going to ask the sellers to compensate their agent. I have written several contracts since August 17th, and I've had offers come in on my listing since August 17th. It's been about a month now that we've been doing this. And in every single situation, the buyer has either asked my seller to pay the compensation to the buyer's agent, or my seller has agreed to do that as part of getting their home sold. So I hope this is helpful. I'll talk to you soon.